Hello. Good morning, Sam, and good day, world. Uh, today, I have to update what is going on for the project, and uh, uh, we are preliminary about the earth, weather, and climate. Yesterday, as I report, right, there are the bring at the way nearby the east coast of United States of America, and at that time. I believe that uh, something dropped into the ocean. The ocean. It should be the anti submarine torpedo or any space junk or any metal or comet fall to the earth and drop to the ocean surface and spread the water and make the, the signal alarm. But at, that is not a uh, make a disaster or anything that we should worry over there in those areas at the North Atlantic Ocean on the east coast of Northern America. But this morning I just found that another warning at the same point between Java and Australia. In this area at the regular times I have stayed so many times about this area. Look at the big, the big picture. You can see that they are late. All of them, they are late because they send the information and the data that not good to the public. Let's say in my area at the Adaman Sea, right here, the water for the whole sea, the whole Adaman, dropped down about 15 to 6 meters. As I say so many times. You can see that the water of the sea dropped about at least six meters. How many cubic kilometers in this area? The easy one that the long from south to north about uh, at least 2,000 kilometers and the wide at least about 600 kilometers. So 600 times 2,000 time six meter that is the volume of the water had gone from Adaman Sea. Where is the water gone? In my opinion, in my research. The the plate right there, there are so many cracks. So it should be some open open plate, small crack. Pop pop up because of the high pressure from under and and the earth crust. So the water pour into between the earth crust and the magma layer. It happens so many places around the world, especially in this area. The small one right here. The water dropped down about 2,000 to 5,000 meter before it turned off before it shut down, it said that the water dropped down almost five kilometers. Let's say that from the surface to the sea floor. What happened? And at that time, they cut down the, the signal to the public. Right here, the same. Many things. We can see that the water have moved. Have moved. Uh, from one part to another part of of the ocean, that the Indian Ocean, you can see that the the water level, you this small one, okay? Let's say this one stayed about um, 0, 05, 19, 19 to 23, it's about five four, about five centimeter. Let's say that the the sea level, the water drop about five centimeter, but the whole area the same thing. The whole area and when you look
at this graph, you will be like that. It say that the water has flow. This, they say it that way, but I want to to say that the water move down. See that the wave length. And before it drop about five centimeter from the normal level, it not good at all. So in this area in Java Ten, you have to remember that in Bengal, Bengal right here is Andaman, right, and Java Ten, all of them are in the Indian Ocean. The Indian scientists has predict that. In this area, in the Bengal or Andaman, it should be an earthquake about at least 9.5 to 10.5 liter scale, and it could create the mega tsunami that bigger than 26 December 2004. And Australian, uh, sorry, I forget maybe Australian geology had predicted that in this area, uh, south of Aceh will be the place that we have the mega earthquake and create about 9.5 liter scale and cause another tsunami and he said that it should be bigger than December 26, 2004 was the same and they are in the trend right here with all Java tents the water dropped down over there at Adam and Sea the water dropped down at the south of northern Java and right now about around this area the water has been shown that it dropping down again nearby Australia. So what should happen? This prey, this area should be lift up. That's why the water from the sea gone into between those area. If it has a huge earthquake, of course, we have the warning time for the earthquake. And we will realize that after the big earthquake, it should be the huge tsunami. The water from the beach will be hissing, descending down to the ocean. They warn us, we shall know in S1 what will happen next. But if there are no earthquake at all, but the water that lives between earth crust and magma has been heated up until the boiling point, it will blow up from under sea and it will chip the plate shinkle or wobble at that time at that situation there are no warning at all because of the water at the beach will not descending down or decreasing but the tidal wave will come right away without warning this is my concern That's why they turn off the signal. No data from those boy anymore. It's very hard for me or for my colleague to collect the data, the information for prediction in God's hand or in the the nature. Anyway, you have to prepare yourself for the incoming situation. What happened around the world? Right now, that spot 3085 just pop up and energy are increasing rapidly. So that sun spot could get the M class fair the next few days. 
Right now, we have a C class within 24 hours. It stayed that. The energy has been popped up again. And again, the solar wind today in the backside, this area, much more stronger than up front from our sun. So, where this solar wind comes from? Of course, from the interstellar or from the incoming so some solar system that come inside our solar system. You can see that the solar wind up and down here. Even the, the proton, most of them are in the backside of the Earth, not up front. Even we had the some proton right from the our sun toward to our Earth, but most of the proton are in the back of the Earth. The same at the pressure. You can see that strong pressure in the back of the Earth, close to the Earth, from this graphic. At the front, the land area very far from Earth's surface, but at night, let's say it touched the Earth's surface, it touched our ground zero. It happened so many times, long time ago, and the energy had increased more and more. Earth magnetic, pretty weird. It is abnormal for our uh, daily life, but it is normal in the process of the portion. And again, you can see that when the land belt, our Earth magnetic shield close to the select orbit again, and it shows that the strong energy from the back. Even right here, it said that the solar wind is about 300 to 800 km per second, or as we say, 3 million km per hour. Most of the energy appears at the back of the Earth, some up front. Right this, our sun solar wind come this area, right? But as on this animation, Another solar wind come from this angle, and the other one in the back. So it said that we have three energy that pour to our Earth. The first from our sun, the second from the other, and the third right here. And you can take a look at this energy. At night, it's mean in the back of the earth, in the front, and say that two layer. You can see that up here, right here. Earth try to defend herself, so it moves some magnetic shield at the front of the sun to the other side. Let's say that most of the magnetic right here in the front of the earth. And they move some energy from here to another another side to protect the incoming solar wind, but not from the back. From the back is very weak. Most of the earth and the shield go up front to again our solar wind and solar storm. And when we look closely to the north and south magnetic pole. Look at the chair. Today it looks good, but sometimes it stays that Earth magnetic field at the north and south disappear for about four minutes, five minutes. In the past two months, it happened about once a day. Right now, it start to be two, three, and four times a day that Earth has no magnetic flow around the north and the south is really bad. But it's a sign of warning. The nature, the earth, has warned human life or animal that something would happen. And today is the Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's the night day that my duck lay no egg at all. The duck lay no egg at all. Tomorrow should be the 10 days. I still cannot find the, the lesson that what happened with them, why they so scared, why they so threatening, that why they lay no egg. But the chicken still okay, but not the duck. Only one phenomena that I can think about it. It's about the CME, the incoming, incoming magnetic force from the sun. And one more thing that I can think about it, about the Schumann resonance. About 10 days ago, the frequency of the <coughs> Schumann resonance dropping down than normal. Usually about 7.8, right? So many times they pump up. And right now they about 3, 2, 5 megahertz. And sometimes that's pump up. It's not good, right? The same as the heart monitoring system. Heartbeat. This is the earth heartbeat. Not good. And one more thing I have to emphasize to you that about the cosmic ray. It's come to earth a lot and sometimes just pop up so many. Don't forget that cosmic ray is not the light as X-ray, UV, gamma or any others. The speed of light sometimes is more than speed of light. The scientists in the past believe that it's the it's a light, is the ray. But later on we found that cosmic ray the sharp particle, very really small, small one. Super nano at the neutrino, something like that. Yeah, the end energy it come from the expo of the star of the sun the sun solar system and it travels so fast it's a sharp particle so it has a nucleus in the nucleus about 80 to 98 percent are hydrogen when those hydrogen sharp particle flow to the earth atmosphere that hydrogen mixed with the oxygen H2O. This is due to be happening so many years ago. As we know from the Bible about the, the Noah that they built up the big ship and get a couple of animal life and the people. This step and to show that before the water world or the flood of the world at Noah, Ella, this area, we can walk from Siam to Indonesia, to Java, even to Australia and New Zealand. This area used to be the dry area. And the water rise up 177 meters. And at this time, the water will rise up again after the new ship in our lifetime. In the past, we can walk from Ireland to Scandinavia. Europe are the, what here, used to be the big area and we can walk to each other. Even right here, the northern of Russia, you can see that, used to be the dry land, but the water come up 177 meters. And next one, the water should come up about 235 meters, or at least 600 feet at your scale.
in each time, the earth will expand herself up. When the earth expands herself up, right, the water uh, in the water, I forget the other word. The water in the form of solid crystal will expand themselves to be the liquid. At the time, it will increase the water in the world. The water from below the earth crust pop up. The water from the sky from cosmic layer pouring down. You can see that? That's why it will be the flood over the world. And another thing. In this area, next one should be close to the equator. That's why the, the weather is so hot. That's why the Wi-Fi is really a lot. And the melting from the glacier at the Greenland and the Iceland. Iceland used to be called Iceland, due to be white around this. When I was a kid, I believe that uh, the, the white spot right here is bigger than now. And many glaciers, right, has melted down and flow down to the area. Even right here in Greenland, in Iceland. And we have less ice at the North Pole. Right now, maybe the electric EMF had brought over my area and the signal come from the, my GPS that some electric had been sparked up. Many players, many players, right, had been the get to fire. Even in Canada, in British of Columbia, around, around this area, it's so hot. The water in the Vancouver, right, Lake Mead, it dry up, it drove. This area again, next one should be nearby equator. So the nature start to change itself. They not just change immediately, that start to change it and it warns us that right now the position in each country, in each geography will be changed pretty soon. Something should be like this. We really don't know it yet, but we shall know in S1 for sure about 50 to 30 days. So at this time, you have to prepare yourself for the worst case scenario, where should be the safe place, the safe house, or the safe shelter for you and your family to be there. You have to prepare it and make the plan for the evacuation or the movement in advance. When it will happen, you can run away, you can travel, you can evacuate. You are and your family to be there. And you and your family have to be there for another 10,000 100,000 years. We have to move aloud again. We have to live in the new area after the portion. Don't forget that. 275 meters. Let's say this map. Right now, I have set up about 225 meters that the water will rise up. So take a look at the United State. You can see that. Most of the area will be flooding. No more Florida, Louisiana, and some part of Texas. Boston, Massachusetts, right? North and South Carolina, even over there in the main, even in Canada. Most of effective in this area. But the water does not rise up slowly like that. When the portion happen, earth will be shaking in something like this, up and down or like this. 
the water will spread up up to the 500 meter in general about 500 meter therefore the same area should be on the west the water the web will spread up right very high before it throwing down to the normal at the wave as usual before that time you have to be at the highland at least 500 meters in general but some area must be 600 or 200 meters in up to the area in each location in my country in the south in the south of, of Thailand in Thailand and Sumatra, Chawa and Borneo at least 600 meters because right here the deep sea the the mass of the water is very huge so when it moves it got a uh, huge momentum that will what that will attack or that will splash to the to the land to the hill to the mountain that's why this area at least 600 meter 600 meter but right here in the cup of Siam uh, the sea floor is about 40 to 60 meters it's not deep enough so the wave may be not too high but at least 500 meter is good after the water spreads around the world the water will drop down to be 235 meters. So, we will have the new Iceland again. Many parts of the world will be flat. Even the Bangladesh, India, and you can see that many parts nearby Himalaya will be flat too. The mainland of India will be the big Iceland. Maybe next time we can call them the Indian continental, the same as Australia, something like that. Okay, we have Pakistan and some of Afghanistan have gone. Even right here, Saudi Arabia, some part have been gone too. North Africa many parts of Europe. You can see that many parts will be underwater again. Think about that. You don't have to believe whatever I'm saying, but you have to search for the Google or for the people that you touch them and ask their opinion. What it will happen? Is it possible to be as I say? Therefore, you have to prepare yourself for anything that could be happen as FEMA has always warned us so many years, more than, more than 20 years.
You see, you have to be ready for this situation. Why FEMA shoot this scene to warn the people? Because as on the scientific data, the Earth will have no gravity at all, maybe one second or maybe one minute. That's why the people and the things fry up. And FEMA warn every family at least must have one emergency bag that contain many things to survive after that situation. You have to heal yourself before the official go to heal you, before 911, before 119, before 199 to heal you. At that time, you cannot call for any help because the official 911 or rescue unit in each area they will be damaged too. So they have to heal themselves or adjust their unit before they go out to help the other people. And you know that if we compare about the population of the people that need help and the number of the official, the rescue unit, it's about maybe one to 100,000, it's not enough. So prepare yourself and God be with you. Do the good thing. Your angel, your messenger will warn you in S1 and will lead you to the safe place, the safe area. Together be strong. God be with you.